are watching Melody Lane With me you're gonna have a great crafting time Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Joan, Rose, Sabrina, Naomi, Roberta, Samantha, Juanita, Sharon, Kim, Carol, Susie, Treva, Lydia, Sandra, Jennifer, Margaret, Pamela, Melinda, Mary, Ronell, Jen, Bobby, Sandy, Amy, Georgian, Ellen, Vicki, LaShawn, Elston, Shamina, Heather, Carrie, Charity, April, Amy, Angie, Beth Ann, Mouse Baby, Barbie, Tina, George, Jody, David, Janice, Nina, Bobby, Jane, and Deanne. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good evening. Are you guys ready? I'm sorry I'm a few minutes late. Uh, welcome, Kelly. My chat that sends all the Facebook chat to the YouTube chat is not working. So I tried to fix that by making, it's going to my latest video because I have two other videos set up, one for Saturday and one for our Patreon hangout. So the Facebook chat is going to the Patreon hangout tried to make them private so it wouldn't do it. It's doing it. I don't, it's not working like it usually does. So are you guys excited? Um, tonight we're making some cards, some Christmas cards. One Christmas card, one Halloween card, but I have a Christmas card already made and I have plans for more cards like this, even different sizes and different ways to make them. It's a wiper card. I saw some of you say that um, you had to Google wiper card. So some of you didn't know about them and we are live on Facebook and Patreon and look what I'm wearing. I got my new pins today. And I did see a question. Somebody was asking, are the pins in the merch store? This is the same image, except for in the merch store, you can buy t-shirts and stuff. It says busy creating with Melody Lane on these, my signature. I don't know if you can see that. It's on the back. It's like engraved into it. So my signature is engraved on the back of these. I'm really sad to say that if you haven't already signed up for these, you can't get them. They, um, I might do a giveaway with some few extras, but um, these are for the people who support my channel at $15 or more. Back in June, I had a special where you got uh, my face and my signature, my logo and pins. And all through July, I said, you guys, have, if you want the next pin, you have to support in July, August, and September, and then you get the pin. So... A lot of you are getting this pin, and I really appreciate that. Um, and then every three months, there will be a new pin coming out for you guys. So um, excited about that. We're going to start shipping them out tomorrow. But do you guys want to see the wiper card? So um, I looked up a video on the wiper cards because there's so many videos on wiper cards, so many different kinds. And I saw a video from 10 years ago. This is not a new type of card. It, um, I've been seeing some of the net last few months or so and somebody had asked me, said, can you make a wiper card in Design Space for Christmas? It was Jamie. <laughs> and my phone is ringing. Decline, sorry. Um, she asked if I can make a wiper card, so I gave her one, and the thumbnail of this video is actually Jamie Leonard's card. Thank you, Jamie. She test cut that and made that card for me and sent me a picture, and I used that because I didn't have a picture yet. I just made this one today. Uh, Jamie helped design this one, too. Just want to say. Uh, well, she didn't design the other one. She cut the other one, and I used her picture, and she helped design this one a little bit. So dreaming of a pink Christmas. So this is like more for Florida. It's flamingos. And then all you do is pull it and look what pops out the top. I'll lower it so you can see. It's Santa with sunglasses. Isn't that cute? And then you can, I did make a white piece. I didn't put anything on the back. Uh, you can put a sentiment on the back. You can sign the back. It doesn't open up. 
And I, I want to tell you a few things about this card. Uh, one of them I'll have to tell you when I'm actually putting it together that I found I made a mistake, but I actually like my mistake better. It's with the paper. This part was supposed to be solid red. See, the inside is solid red. And so I want to show you, if you're using double-sided paper, you have to put pretty side down. So you have to put the side that you want showing face down on the mat because I had to kind of reverse them because I have guides inside here, score lines, so you know how to make, here he is from the back. I'm not looking at that. Look, he's so cute. And we have a sloth and we have a Halloween one. And um, I'll be making more like birthday ones and things like that. So isn't that fun? And this writing was drawn on there with the Cricut. So many people think, oh, how did you get that to fill in? Can anyone guess what font that is? It's just a writing font. I did not color it. I personally did not color this in. It's actually even a pretty big font. Like it's not, if this was tiny, it would completely, like you can see like in the D, it's not completely in the C. Some of the ones, it's not completely filled in. But if I made it a little smaller, it would be. Who, who's going to guess what font this is? Where did you get the pattern paper? The pattern paper came from Cricut. There is a link below to all the supplies I used. And I, um, my assistant helps me with all that. And she puts the links in there. I said, sometimes... Most of the time, we just put a link to Cricut cardstock because I love all Cricut cardstock and let you have a choice. But I wanted a specific link to this paper because this paper is amazing. Uh, it is Kaleidoscope. That's the name of the paper. It's by Cricut. You can use my code. And it's really easy to put together because I made it easy. Gave you a guide. Okay. If we have any questions, please put them in all caps. I do see your comments on Facebook, even though they're not through YouTube. I have a YouTube comments and a Facebook and Twitch comment thing that I can see. Um, Renee, yes, she says Carly something. Oh, Lisa Jones, Marianne Kilpatrick's got it. Kim Robeson got it. Sometimes I ask questions and forget to look for the answers. The font is Carly Sketch. It's actually named after Carly Hall. So the font is Carly Sketch. It's, you guys know what it is because I use that font a lot. Um, oh, and let me go ahead and tell you, I used the Cricut glitter paper on his beard and uh, the flamingo's hat. And when I did this flamingo, I cut off its legs in black. It gives you a whole black piece underneath it. I, I just cut those off. You don't need the legs. And to try to get them glued on top of each other in the same spot is kind of hard. But isn't that cute? Like, the flamingo is just three layers. The Santa is just a few layers. It's really easy. Okay. Are you guys ready to craft? It's crafting time. Do I need another theme song? Okay, no, I, you guys, <laughs> we have choices here. We're gonna do both these cards. Tell me if you want Christmas or Halloween first. And the Halloween one also has a choice on some paper. I cut two of something because I'm like, oh, I think I would like it in this color better. Let's cut both and see what the audience wants. So tell me Christmas or Halloween. We're going to do both, but what do you want to see first? We are going to be using our glitter glue that I get from May May Made It. There is a link in the description below. I don't know. I'm a little weird today. Sometimes I have a different voice from <laughs> my assistant. We just start talking in different accents and voices. My ice just fell in the freezer. Okay, it's almost even with Halloween and Christmas.
Okay, I'm gonna do Halloween. It's really close. We're getting more Halloweens and I got a Halloween, please. So we're gonna put the sloth to the side. He is just so cute. You guys, I uh, shared something. Oh yeah, the picture of this, the sloth. Somebody says, I just want the file for the sloth. You guys, the file for the sloth is in design space. It's just an access image. It's already there. I did not create the sloth. I did not make the sloth Christmas. He was already ready for Christmas. I actually took him off another card and put him on this card. And um, that's, I stole him from another card in design space and put him on my wiper card. And I made the sentiment that was on the other card and this one. Okay. So we're gonna do this one. Okay, so we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to do the bottom piece. This one also has vinyl. This had the, oh, I didn't read the O. There we go, got the O out. I put this in vinyl only because it's, each letter is different and I'm like, I don't wanna glue those down. Why not cut it in vinyl when it's already sticky? Okay. Oh my gosh. I forgot to cut this, this, the, the guy, the boo, the ghost. Oh my goodness. I forgot I didn't cut the whole thing because I created this part of the card first and then, so we are going to cut this little guy right now. Is my machine on? Yes, well now it is. Okay. So some of you really like it when we go from start to finish. We're just gonna do the one. We're just gonna do this ghost. So he'll be easy, I forgot to cut him. Can you guys believe that? I did not remember that until right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just click make it. And I already got this part cut. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna hide that piece. And that's all we need. So we need a pen and that. So I'm gonna hit continue. I gotta get a mat. I kept thinking something was missing today. Gonna click on popular and go to cardstock and we're gonna need a pen and a score wheel so all I have to do is load my mat putting my paper on my mat I'll find a pen we will do this glitter violet gel pen And I'll bring you over here. Do you guys want to see it cut and draw? We're going to see it cut and draw. Okay, I'm going to load that. Stick the pen in. Take this out. Get the single score wheel. So, can you guys see? Yeah. Here's the quick swap housing and score wheel. The scoring is really just for a guide on this to make it easy. And hit go. So if you've never seen the machine right, here you go, you get to see it go.
it's scoring. Now it's writing the word boo. This guy wasn't cut because I was, I had my assistant cut out the card ahead of time, but I wasn't finished. I didn't have the boo ready. That I had to do that another day. And then uh, I forgot. That was done on Tuesday. And then I forgot. Here, I'm going to show you guys design space. So in case you've never done this, if I was doing a multicolored project with different colored pens, it would stop and tell me which color to load. But now it's telling me to take out the score. Um, you know, the score tool. Oh, look, here's another thing. Did you guys know that? Look, I can't take out the score tool. Can you see that? So we're learning something. I mean, I, this hasn't happened to me, but I heard about it and I know how to fix it. So I can't change the score wheel. Look, it's way in there. I can't reach that. So I'm just going to hit go again and it's going to know that I didn't change the score wheel. And it's going to move. So now I can change it. Look at that. Accidents happen for reasons. Everything happens for a reason. Except for I'm not looking because the camera's in my way. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and take this out and put the cap on. Always store your Cricut pins point down so the ink is always down at the bottom ready to print. Thank you, Ronald. You're amazing. And hit go. Christy says, I notice you have your machine on top of storage unit. Does that work for 24 inch mats? Yes, it does. I don't have a problem with 24 inch mats. I have been using crickets on top of something ever since I had a cricket, I think. I've always put them up so I can have more storage. And you guys, this, these cards are so easy. They're incredibly easy. So this won't take long. Okay, we're done. And let me show you how to take it off the mat. If you have a big piece of paper like this, you want to flip the Here, wait a minute. Let me move the camera where we're going to be. Uh, hopefully it doesn't fall, fall. Welcome, Joe Davis. There we go. Okay, uh, put the mat upside down. I don't want to put sticky part over here. And bend the mat back. And then we need to take these things off the mat. I'm rolling my chair over to the other side of my table. Coming back. I use a spatula. And you stick the spatula underneath and you flip your wrist. It's all in the wrist. It's really easy. You just get it. Okay, I can't get it in there. This is a really sticky mat. So I go around and I'm going like this, moving this back and forth. There we go. Oh, and look, this was a scrap piece of paper. The back of it has some scribblies on it. Okay, we're good. That didn't take long. Okay, now the part that scored on this, it actually scores this whole triangle here just because it was easier to do that and it would be even. It's scoring a piece here because we need to, I think, fold it back. I think it's fold back. I'll find out in a minute when I go to put it together. Um, and this boo gets on top of here. I made it right, the boo, because... 
I'm lazy. I didn't want to, um, I could color it in. I didn't want to cut out those separate pieces and put those, especially with these dots. The dots made me do it. Can I say that? The dots made me do it. Um, I could have done this in vinyl also. You can change it to cut if you like. I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. I've only made one of these cards. So if I make a mistake, please forgive me. But if I make a mistake, we'll fix it. Or at least I'll tell you how to do it. And then you will learn from my mistakes. And please, when you're crafting, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Because mistakes are important. If nobody ever made mistakes, this world would be really boring and nothing would be invented. Nothing. We probably still wouldn't have electricity. Probably wouldn't have internet. Okay. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to, we're going to do the main part first. Um, so we have two pieces that they each have a score line here. This one has a triangle. This piece also does, but we need to have the score lines on the opposite way. Like we're not, we're going to glue these together after we glue him on but you don't have them so the score lines are on the same way if you glue them together that way you're going to have to take them apart or recut them because it won't work um this one has a triangle can you see the triangle scored in here that triangle matches this triangle because that makes it easier for you so this piece that has this triangle on it is the back. This is the inside. It's the inside of the card, but the card doesn't open, if that makes sense. Um, where's my other card? My flamingo card. See, today I just have different voices. Maybe I have multiple personality. So, yeah, I did it right. He gets folded back. I don't know if you can see the inside of this. So we're gluing Mr. Ghost. So he matches, oh, like this. That's okay. This, this is the part where I kept getting confused, you guys, when I made this the first time. When you have this piece up and you see the triangle and you have the little uh, pop-up and the other one, it's not a person or a thing, it's a sentiment. They don't match. So you have to turn this guy over and you're gonna glue only inside the triangle and put this triangle right on it. And it's okay if it goes out that way a little bit, but don't have it past this first score line because we're gonna glue all this down. I well, probably could, probably wouldn't hurt, but um we're gonna put it there so we're gonna see the back of the pop-up and this is the inside of the card so when we this will be the front of the card this way and this guy was gonna pop up this way does that make sense i really hope i'm making sense and if you are a little confused maybe by the next card we won't be so confused Uh, Manny Makes says, is everything available in the files if you are a Patreon supporter, even if you aren't an Access member? Okay, that is a great question. Thanks for bringing that up. These images, all these images, except for like the circles and squares and triangles, those are free shapes. I do try to make things out of free shapes. I did make a blank wiper card out of free shapes that is yours completely free. But when I use images in Access, you either have to own the images or have access to them, or you will be charged per image or be asked to uh, join. So you can buy the images if you want to and have them forever, or you can join access, or you can use the blank card and put images on you own or images that you upload or SVGs that you upload. 
you can make them out of the card base. Okay, so let's go back here. So if we had this up, the lines to the right, we need to match up this triangle to this triangle and we're gonna glue that down. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put glue on this ghost. Can you see it's only in that triangle is the glue and I'm going to only put it inside the scored triangle. And it should match up perfectly. In the blank card, I have, this is the pop-up that's going in the other one. And I also, since I was writing in here, I also wrote it on there in case you didn't want to use your score tool, you'd see where to fold it. Um, you have this, but you could cut this or add something to this, anything you want. So this has to dry pretty good. Now, now we have this piece, and if it's all solid color like this, it doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as these score lines are on the opposite side of this one. Okay, so we are going to glue, let me show you. We're gonna put glue all over this right piece. There's little slits here where this is scored all the way down here and all the way down here. So we're gonna fill this first part up with glue and then we're gonna glue the side down here that has no score line. So there's no score line on this side and we're just gonna match that up and glue that down. And then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna put glue on this side of the score line and match that up and glue that down. You guys, we just did the hardest part of the card. That's all. Okay, so we're gonna glue this and make sure I get glue on the outside edges. Now I do not want to match down the side with the score line that has to go on the other side. So I'm just going to lay this on here and get it straight. Just line up all the edges and corners. That's why I like to use glue. So I can move it to make sure it's straight. Okay. Now, now you can put glue on both sides and do them both at the same time, but I feel like I might mess up that way. I'd rather do one side at a time. So I'm putting glue on this one, just in that one area. There we go. We should be able, this should be flat. Oh, I forgot to fold the score lines. Okay, we should have folded the score lines. But it's okay. How does that go now? Oh my gosh, now I have to look at this one. Yeah. I forgot to fold the score lines. You gotta fold the score lines first, but it's okay. Cause I can fold them now. It is harder to fold now. Hold on. He's going to go inside. There we go. You go in there. So on the next card, we're going to fold these first. There.
Thanks for joining Patreon. So then he pops up and says, boo. Can you see? But if I would have folded those first, it would have turned out better. Okay, but let's do the rest of the card. So you could use, I don't have any Halloween pattern paper. So what I did is I added spider webs to this paper because I wanted to use pattern paper, but I didn't have any. So I created my own pattern paper. These are just for decoration. You want to place them kind of in the middle so it has a little border around each one. So my files, for those of you asking, they're not SVG files. They are design space files. So they're designed from images in design space. So you don't have to download them. You don't have to upload them. You don't have to unzip them. All you do is click on them and they open up to the file. They're all set to the right size. Now we're gonna turn this over and put these here. They're set to the right size. Yeah, I'll put those right there. And you can customize them and change things if you want to, or you can just hit make it. Try to make them even. Okay, now here's where I need your help. Actually, let's put this away first. Um, this piece goes on the back. This is for the back of it. So we have a sentiment for, oh, that's the front. <laughs> for the back. So that's gonna go on the back. Have a spectacular Halloween. And this is gonna go in the front. My question for you is, you have to answer purple or white. For the background, do you want purple or white? This big moon is going to go on it. I kind of like the purple. I had the white there first, but I like the purple, I think. Are we all voting for purple? I'll do what you say. The Halloween paper is not part of Kaleidoscope. There is no Halloween paper. The spider webs are not Halloween paper. They are Cricut, it's Cricut purple paper, and the spider webs, the Cricut drew on them. Let me show you that real fast. Well, okay, you're all saying purple, but let me show you in design space really fast. I'm gonna cancel this cut and show you how that works. Um, cancel. So what I did is I lined up the purple pieces and then I added the spider webs to it. And then this, the Cricut drew these spider webs and cut those out. And that's how I got those pieces. Isn't that fun? Did you guys know you can do that? You can make your own pattern paper by having it draw. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to make another card. So if you missed any part of it, so then we're going to put this on there. And I have to show you, you guys, when I did the flamingo one, I had this flat and I was centering the paper here in between these. That looks pretty good, right? It's not right. It's wrong. Let me show you what I did. I want to show you my mistakes. So I put this paper down and that looks right, right? Like it doesn't look bad at all. The centering of this white piece, that looks right, correct? It does to me. But when it's close like this, this is way over the edge. It's not even either. It's way over to the edge than this side. It's because I had it open and I was looking at the room it had from the side of this piece also. So it's not a big deal. I Well, I'm not a perfectionist. If I was, I would not be doing these videos. Um, and this one is on there really not even. Um, so it's not a huge deal. It could be a deal for you. So I just wanted to make you aware of that when you're putting it together to pay attention to that and don't do what I did. So when you're putting this piece on, okay, now this boo guy is getting stuck in here. I think because I didn't 
fold him properly. Let me take this and score him really good. And I didn't score these right either. Ooh, see, he, he does it better now. He's not getting stuck. Ooh, he did get stuck on that one. Maybe it's too, oh, you know what? I probably, I think what I'm gonna do is, cause he's not real, I probably should have used a stronger paper, like craft board with him, cause he's kind of flimsy and he's kind of big. So what I might do is make another layer for him. I think I will make a black layer for that part of him. I'll add that to the file. Okay, so we're going to put the moon on here, and we have a haunted house, and I need to look at this and see what it's supposed to look like. I forgot. Okay, we have some bats we're going to stick on here. Oh, that bat's upside down. You can put the bats anywhere you want. And this says haunted. And this is vinyl and says house. And then this says it's drawn on there, says enter at your own risk. And we're got the hiccups. We're going to glue that down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the, I'm going to start with the house. We're going to glue the house down. Are you guys excited about that sloth? I am. Oh, and you know what I'm gonna do with this guy? I'm only gonna glue him in the middle and I'm gonna bend him out his wings. So his wings are going out. I'm not gonna do it to the small ones, they're too small. Oh, that is so cool. I love his wings out. Can you guys see those? Can you see the dimension it has? Okay, I just thought of that. It wasn't that was not a plan. So we're just gonna add a little glue. To the haunted. This glue dries clear. So we're good. Okay, I have this house. I am using Cricut vinyl. I just cut a piece off of a bigger used piece. This I have used. Can you see how dirty it is? Like I've used it many times. And I'm going to use it again. I'm just going to stick that on there. And I don't want this really, really sticky. So when you're peeling it off so it sticks to the uh, transfer paper, you got to pull it off flat. And this would come off really easy if it was new transfer paper, but I don't want to use new on paper. Thank you for subscribing. Okay. So now we're going to put this. I'm going to stick that. You can see how old this, well, I don't know if you can see, I can see it's kind of dirty. There we go. See how much easier that is than gluing? Like if you had to glue each letter because you'd have to do each single letter. Okay, and then we're going to center this on here. And then 
this is going to go on here. This is only the second wiper card I made. Isn't that fun? You guys can't see. So, oh wait, where's the piece that goes on the back? This one. Okay, we're not done. Let's turn it over. This piece goes on the back. You could do this in purple too. If you wanted. Or like a yellow or green. Any color you want to make it. But wouldn't the child have fun with this? Boo. He says boo. Oh wait, this way. That's like in the way of that. I think it's fun. And then you got your spider webs there. And you have them over here too, so you can see them on the back. These are at Cricut. They're the big scraper. They just had them in the last mystery box. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in my glue real fast. Okay, now let's do this one. I do have everything cut for this one. So we're gonna put this guy. So this is the back. It says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. It has gold glitter gel pen. I don't know if you can see. You can kind of see the glitterness. And, oh, this. Is what this sits on okay before we start and make any mistakes let's find the front piece and fold on the score lines okay so this is gonna be this is actually the front this is the inside of the front because I see that triangle and the score lines are here so we are going to oh my gosh I keep forgetting it folds like this. So, you guys, get a good picture of this. This folds like this. And then... I'm going to set that there so I can remember. So, this is going to be this way. And this is going to be the front. So, the line closest to the end gets folded down. And then the next one folds up. If you fold it the wrong way, it's okay. Just fold it the other way. So that's going to be folded this way. And then this one is going to be folded this way. And then when they're put together, when they're glued together, they're going to look like this. So to find out if you folded it correctly, they're going to look like that. Okay. Now this one has a triangle, so this is the piece on the front, and the folds go on this side, but to glue it on, we need to do it the other way, and this is going to pop up out of this one. It says, hang in there, it's almost Christmas, and I want to go around this with a marker. This is Spectrum Noir water markers, watercolor, and I never use these. So I thought, hey, I'll use that. I think I'm trying to get a little bit of it on there too. I think it'll just finish it off a little more. And I didn't write anything on the front of the card with the, I did in the thumbnail. I didn't, Jamie did. But you can add writing. if you want it or you don't need it. Thank you, Ronald. <laughs> okay, and we're going to fold this back 
on that line and we're going to fold it very well. Okay, and then we're going to flip this over. I have all this glue everywhere. And then we're going to put this, turn this this way, and we're going to put glue on the triangle and match it up with this triangle. And it's going to go like that. And if you let this take time to dry, not like me, do as I say, not as I do. Um, let that have time to dry and it will be much better for you. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put glue here. Like I said, let it dry first. Make sure you have enough glue. And we're gonna line this up. I like to turn things over and make sure they're lined up from both sides. Sometimes it looks like it is on one side, but it's not. Yes, this is really easy. Okay, so now all we do is glue this other side and then we're done with the mechanism. So now, so I know where to put the glue. I'm gonna put the glue up here. And what you can do is cut out some scrap paper and practice if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten that down. Even. There we go. So we're smoothing it out so it can be flat. I gotta get that guy to go in there. And then we have to, you want to fold it so it's closed and then go over it with a scraper or bone folder or something. Look, and it says hang in there. It's almost Christmas because this little sloth is hanging on a Christmas branch. Isn't that fun? Okay. Let's put the sloth together first. So he's hanging on a branch like this. Let me, you guys, I gotta look at it. I'm not magical. Let me go to my projects and I'll show it to you. For those of you who don't know what he looks like. Oh my gosh, you guys, he has so many projects down. I have lots of projects to share with you guys. Oh my gosh, I couldn't find it for a minute. <laughs> He's there. Come on over. Uh, yeah, replace that one. So I have to use this. Now you can use uh, pattern paper here. I just use solid colors. Um, so this is what he looks like. Oh, let's go back so you can watch me put them together. Let's get all the pieces of the sloth. There's his scarf. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Okay. Now I know this is the bottom piece because this piece is bigger than any of these pieces. So these, this would go on there. 
and this would go on there. I don't even, if you looked in the layers panel, they're in the right order, but I don't even have to do that because if I were to put this on the bottom, you wouldn't be able to see it. It completely covers it. So anytime you're worried about what layers go what, the biggest one goes on the bottom. And then the next one, this one doesn't have this. So if I were to glue this one on this little strand here, he, he, this won't be green, it'll be brown. So this will go here, then the green, and then this gray one, right? And then we uh, will work on his face, I think. I think that'll be right. Yeah. Unless, no, that's cut through. I was worried about his hat covering up his little hair, but his hat has his hair cut out. So I think we're good. Let's glue these on together. I love how Cricut makes their... Uh, cut files. They make them easy. So you don't have so many tiny little pieces. Thanks guys who are answering questions and linking things. Okay, I'm going to get the oh go down a little so that's why i like to use glue i like to move it a little oh moved that too much there we go now we're going to put glue on this one and make sure you're putting glue on the right side I say that all the time because so many times I put glue on the wrong side of the image. So I can line this up even with his little holes here so we don't see any green through his holes. There. See, I love paper piecing because it, it gives it dimension. It's so much cooler than vinyl. Okay, let's do his face, and then we'll put his face on. So I know his face is this black piece. Oh, and the black piece is correct. His face is wrong. There we go. That will fit on top of that, and then we have, oh, it's upside down, this piece. Isn't it the cutest face? He's so cute. And I could do this in a different order where I put the glue on the top piece first and glue that one down. And make sure that it's on there. And then I can put glue on this piece and put it down. So always line it up like I did first. See, I had some of the pieces upside down. And then this just gets, thank you, spirit junkie. This just gets put in the middle. You know, I don't know if his whole face is backwards. Kind of looks backwards. I, I might have put everything backwards on his face, but because I did them all backwards, it's still okay. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't know. No big deal. Let's go ahead and put a scarf on. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start his scarf over here. Cause I gotta put them right on top of those pieces and then the rest will be lined up. All right, let's go for the hat. Cause I know it has to line up right where his hair is. It'll be easy.
Now, you don't have to have my files to have this little guy. He is in Cricut Access. I just took him from one image and added him to my wiper card. Is that? No, that's wrong. I'm putting it on wrong. It goes like this. So this piece here goes right here. And then this is a smooth. Okay, tell me the truth. Am I changing any of you vinyl people into uh, wanting to try paper crafting? Am I or no? Do the vinyl people just want to do vinyl? Okay, we have some pieces left over. Oh, these are his hands. That go, oh, I see where they go. Right here. They're his hands from over here holding on to the branch. Isn't that the cutest thing? I don't know where that goes. Oh, that must go down here. No, this goes down here. Have you guys watched that show, The Crown, that's on Netflix? Totally off topic. Oh, man, I just finished the second season, and I really hope they have more. I love that show. It's about Queen Elizabeth. I have learned so much about the royal family. I had no idea. Okay. Um, I'm looking at my picture, and I don't see. <gasps> oh. I forgot something, guys, and I'm missing a piece. So we're going to go without it. So this little piece, I should have two. Like, he's been cut out for a few days, so he could have gotten lost. These pieces go underneath. Let me show you. I should have looked at that. I wasn't even paying attention. But, I mean, it's okay because you don't even notice it. Really, do you? Did you know I was missing that piece? Okay. So those little gray, light gray pieces, they go underneath. This brown piece was the piece I just put on these two pieces. Let me ungroup him so you can kind of see what I mean. Oh, let me ungroup him. See? So I just put those pieces on, and these little pieces, which I'm missing one, so it would not work anyway. Um... Those little pieces are for his claws. But, I mean, those that's awesome detail. But I think he's fine without it, don't you think? <gasps> yes, it has been picked up for season four, up to four and five. I hope they go on forever with the crown. I want to see it all the way up until now. Okay. You just made me so happy about the crown. I'm I really love that show. I'm learning a lot. I love to learn. Okay, overhead. Okay, we're almost done. Now, like I said, this would be really pretty with pattern paper, or you could make this uh, add some snowflakes to these and have it draw on there. Let's go ahead and stick these on. Since they're all the same, there's no drawing. There's nothing. You just glue these on. And, oh, but you do want to kind of put them even, do as I say, not as I do. Okay, then we got to turn it over and do these. Now, if you didn't want to do this thing up at the top, you don't have to. You could take a Santa, maybe from this card, or you can draw some little eyes or something on it, or take a different Santa. There's lots of printable Santas. There is one printable Santa in Design Space where is a chimney with his feet hanging out, and I kind of wanted to put that up here. Not on this card, but on a card, and I just couldn't think of a card to do that with. So you can put any image. 
and stick it on the inside as long as it fits okay so like you could put this card I that's just all the card all I have for the card you can put it any way you want you can put Merry Christmas on here or like uh, Jamie put Merry Christmas Michaela or I think that's what that said I don't remember now I'm not gonna glue down the branch maybe a little bit of it I think I want to have it sticking out yeah I like this sticking out the branch and then we're gonna stick this on here but I'm gonna go around the outside of this with a marker If you have to have things be perfect, this is probably not something you want to do. Otherwise, you're going to keep going and going. Oh, and remember, do this closed. Go back in there. Close that up. So you can center it better that way. Otherwise, you're going to do what I did. There we go. So there's the sloth. Oh, no. I did it backwards. Love it when I make mistakes. Alrighty then. We're going to put this one here and not upside down. Some of you that thought I was perfect, now you know. Well, if you watch my videos, you already knew. All right. We're going to put this one here. All right, there we go. Now we're going to put this one on the front, and we know it's the front because that pops up and we can actually read it. Let's put more glue on here. But you know what? Whoever gets this card is not going to see all that red and all that other. Oh, almost put them upside down. Wouldn't that be funny? There. I did it right. Hang in there. Uh-oh. There we go. And this is just cute. Just sitting like that. They sit up so nice. And then you fold it. Boom. Because it's such a surprise for people. Most people get cards, you just get a card. And then they throw it away two weeks later. But when you make them a card, you can make them a special card. Isn't that fun? Okay, so which one do you like best? Here's what you have to do. You have to say, Flamingo Sloth or Halloween or Haunted or whatever. Which one's your favorite? And if you're watching the replay, tell me in the comments below. Oh, and don't forget to put your pin in your glue so it doesn't dry up. Okay, just over an hour. And it would have been less than an hour if I would have remembered to cut the entire card. Okay. 
right, we got some Twitter people here too. Thanks for joining. Okay, what what do we got? We got Sloth and Flamingo, Halloween. Seems like a mixture. I think they're all fun. And I'm going to be making more. I'm going to make some more Christmas ones too. I probably will not do videos. If the cards are just like this, I'm not going to do another video. Like if it's just where you just put an image on this part. I'm not going to do another video showing how to do this. But I will share some more files as I get more made. I'm also going to share some of different sizes. I haven't done that yet. I, I created a whole new card today. And I pro it might come Thursday possibly Tuesday but more likely on Thursday it's a Christmas card and it's a pop-up card and it's a lot of fun um but I will try to make more different things with a little pop-up thing inside and tell me what you want I know we want a happy birthday maybe a thinking of you um a little cricket guy popping up that I want to make a little cricket guy popping up Oh, we could do a little cricket guy with a Santa hat on, popping up. Have a crafty Christmas. Oh, I will make that tomorrow and share it. Have a crafty Christmas. Wouldn't that be fun to share it with a crafty friend? I'll make a card that says have a crafty Christmas. It'll be fun. Let me read the chat. <coughs> awesome. Tammy says, I made Christmas cards in 2002 and her aunt still has them displayed in her china cabinet. That's awesome. Those are people you make cards again for. Um, not everybody appreciates handmade cards. Love the crafty Christmas. I just thought of that right here live with you guys. So I'm going to make that. I love cuties too. Aren't they so much fun? We could do one of a little reindeer popping up. You guys on Facebook like the Crafty Christmas too? Envelope for them. I didn't make an envelope for them. Do I have? Let me see. I have envelopes on Melody Lane. Let me go in. I had to put my password in to get my files. Um, when you scroll down on my projects by type and you go down to paper projects and greeting cards, there's a lot of them. And envelopes are at the bottom of the greeting cards. The wiper cards are right above. Every time there's a new card that I create for Patreon or for YouTube and Facebook supporters too, um, I add the new type of card to the bottom of the list. So greeting cards will be above envelopes and then there's 3D projects below that and um, maker projects and stuff are at the bottom. So these wiper cards, I just kind of scroll down until I find envelopes, because I will always keep envelopes at the bottom. My sprinklers just turned on. Infinity cards, pop-out cards, wiper cards, envelopes. Um, I do have a six by six envelope square envelope so these are six by six cards they're square cards i will be making the a2 four and a quarter by five and a half i will be making some of these in that size also so i do have an envelope for these so that's good oh that lost the chat Um, 
Thank you, Jamie. All right, guys. I think I'm going to let you go. Kobe is on me. He's probably got to go potty. Um, it, it was almost 7 o'clock, and I hadn't eaten. All, all I've eaten today was a fried egg sandwich. And uh, Kobe only eats when I put the yummy food inside his uh, other food, his soft food, Rachel Ray food. I put it on his other food. He, I can have food there all day. He won't eat until I give him that. And uh, when I was like done getting ready for the video and I came out here, because like you guys on Thursdays, I don't shower all day until um, the end of the day in the evening, like 5 30, 6 o'clock. I go take a little nap so I can function during the video. And um, then I take a shower and then I come and do the video. And I'm like, Kobe, you forgot to eat. He didn't forget to eat. I forgot to feed him, but I didn't feed myself either. So um, I had a few bites of cottage cheese and he had his Rachel Ray. But now he's probably got to go potty. Did You guys really needed to know all that, didn't you? Um, all right, guys, thank you. Have fun tonight. Love you. Have a crafty night. I will see you Saturday. We're going to do a split monogram and teach that because the first video I did of that is four years old and design space is completely different now. And some people have been asking about that. So uh, we're going to do a new split. There's new ways to do it. All right, guys, love you, and I will see you Saturday morning. And Patreon Hangout Saturday, and I have to reschedule my hair appointment that's scheduled for Saturday because of the Patreon Hangout. You guys are more important. Pets come first. Yeah, I stopped what I was doing and fed him before I got fed. I'm like, oh, you didn't forget to eat. I forgot to eat. All right, guys. Love you. How many times do I have to say that? Goodbye. I keep just sitting here reading. Someday we're just going to sit and chat all night. You guys want to do that? Just sit and chat all night? About nothing. TV shows. The Crown. Cricket. I forgot how to turn this off. I got to look over here. All right. Bye. Love you.